Welcome to this video, RC Circuits Part 2. In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off and try to take a look at what happens when I vary the capacitance in this simple RC circuit. What will happen to all the time dependence functions that we came up with in the last video? So, just to kind of recap, what we found so far is that current, capacitor charge, and capacitor voltage all depend on time, which is probably pretty obvious based on what we've looked at up to this point in circuits. Now one of the other things that we found was that increasing the resistance of a resistor in the circuit caused the time it took to completely charge or discharge the capacitor to be a greater value or a longer time to reach the complete or total charge. We also found that increasing the resistance of the resistor caused the current when t equals zero seconds, or in, in other words, the initial current, to be a lower value. So what I'm going to do over here is if we come over to this Desmos graph, which is one of the most awesome tools ever, especially for looking at the mathematical relationships in physics, we see here that on this graph, here's my current versus time graph. I've hidden the functions from you so you can't see them, because in the next video we're going to theoretically derive what this function actually is. But we can see here that um, remembering that current is going to be uh, voltage divided by resistance because we have a constant resistance here. So if I set my voltage, let's say it was 4.5 volts, and then I have a slider here for the resistance, we saw that increasing the resistance would drop the initial current, which is what we see happening here, and it would also increase the time it took for um, the current to reach zero. So you can kind of see that here in this graph. So as I adjust this, that's what we see happening. So we kind of know what's happening with the resistance. We also said that it's going to take longer for it to completely charge or discharge. And so let's try to take a look now at what happens with the capacitance. Now we know that capacitance is equal to the amount of charge per volt, and so therefore Q is equal to C times V. So I want to see what's going to happen to this Q versus T graph as capacitance changes. Rather than looking at the current versus time graph, we'll come back to that one in a second. So I'm going to switch those graphs over here. And here I see I have the charge and the capacitor versus time, and it makes sense to see that it's approaching some asymptote, it's approaching some maximum value um, for the amount of charge. Now we saw that increasing the resistance would increase the time, so we can see there that the time it's taking to approach that constant value is increasing and that's going to affect how long it takes the capacitor to reach total charge. Now let's see what it what would happen if I affected the capacitance. Well, if you have a greater capacitance, that means you have you can hold more charge per volt. And so what I think is going to happen is this is going to shift the asymptote up. And we see that is actually what's happening there. It is shifting the asymptote. And it looks like the time could be affected slightly as well. OK. Now, if I wanted to do the voltage versus time function across the capacitor plate, I see that it's essentially the same thing here. So I just switched to that function, and I can see here, the um, if I adjusted the resistance, it takes longer to reach that total voltage. It's also going to be the same for affecting the capacitance. So they have kind of a very similar effect there. And then finally, let's take a look back at the current value. So we can see both graphs here at the same time, current versus time in red, and voltage versus time in this purple or blue color. But I'm going to put this back to being charge. So here I have, let me change that value. There we go. We have charge versus time. Let's see what happens. As I increase the capacitance, the charge versus the current versus time graph is really just the time is being affected. But we see that this, this constant value for the current is kind of 
looks like it's fixed. It's not really changing very much. The If I change the resistance, I do see that value's initial intercept value change, but not really when I change the capacitance. Okay, so interesting things here. So when we look at discharging the capacitor or charging the capacitor, we should have the same current versus time graph, and we see that the capacitance not really having an effect on the initial value of the current, but it is having an effect on the time it takes that current to reach zero. The resistance is having both effects. It's affecting the initial current value and the time that it takes to reach zero. You can see that over there. And then um, for the charge or the voltage, which should have basically the same shape that I see in this kind of purple or blue graph, that the capacitance is changing the maximum value that we can reach for charge. And the resistance is changing not necessarily the maximum value we can reach, but the time that it takes to reach that maximum value. So some very interesting things here. So with all of this in mind, we see here that we have functions where the relationship between charge and time and current and time are interlinked. So the constant values in the circuit or in any given circuit as in R or C, those can affect the rates at which these change. So I'm going to leave you with this idea before we come back in the next video to theoretically derive the actual functions for these lines that we see. And that is the following. We know that current is equal to the amount of charge passing per unit of time, or dq dt. dq dt would mean that if I took the derivative of the charge versus time function with respect to time, I should get the current versus time function. So with that thought in mind here, perhaps if I take the derivative of this purple function or the blue function here, I should technically get the red function. So let's see if we can come up with what that would look like. And we'll take a look at that in the next video.